so hi everyone today we will be discussing about how to implement hybrid drag so hybrid drag has been a latest advancement over both standard drag and graph drag which uses context from both using vector similarity and then using graph analytics from graph drag and then gives you a mixed answer using both so hybrid drag is quite popular nowadays the results as said are quite great so in this tutorial we will see how you can implement hybrid drag using langchain so let's get started. So first of all, you need to pip install some important packages. Langchain experimental, Langchain community, Langchain network X is not required, but still you can go for it. A Langchain Google Gen A because I would be using the free Google Gemini API key, Langchain core and other requirements like Chroma DB. Once done, we would be importing everything for creation of our standard rag chain and then creation of our graph rag so for the readers who are coming for the first time or i have already explained both in quite detail how graph rag is implemented using langchain and how standard rag is implemented using the langchain so you can check out my previous video i would be just jumping over these codes uh, giving a brief about them but before that you need to first of all set up your llm and embedding model which i am setting up using the free api key as i already told you you can check out the channel on how to create that. Once done, what I am doing, I am loading a text file. So the text file has the history of some random city called as Akabakada. So it's a random name that I have chosen up. So it is text that I generated using perplexity and stored in text file. So this particular function def graph rag would help us to implement graph rag using langchain. Mm -hmm. I've already explained the codes where I'm using LLM graph mm -hmm. transformer transforming the documents into knowledge graph, adding the knowledge graph entities into the graph and then calling graph QA chain. Uh, if you feel you are not able to understand, you can check out my previous video on how to implement graph rag using lang chain. Similarly, for rag also, standard rag that uses vector similarity, I am loading the same text file hybrid rag, which consists of the historic information about Akabakada, a known city that I've chosen just randomly. Now, using Chroma DB, I'm setting up the vector DB and uh, setting up the retriever as well. I have already explained these codes also, so you can check out the previous video on this. Once done, we would be creating two objects, one for standard rag, another for graph rag, as you can see. And then we will create a new function, hybrid rag. So in case of hybrid rag, we would be first running standard rag. Then we would be running graph rag, as you can see here. And then I would using a special prompt generate a final answer by mixing the two context given context one context two and question now in context one and context two I am passing values for the results that I got for standard rag and graph rag and finally is the query that I would be asking so if you would have understood the flow it's quite easy to understand you first implement standard rag and graph rag separately get results for them and then generate a prompt that will mix these two contexts to give you an answer that you are asking. So in this case, as you can see, I am asking at a query, tell me about Akabakada. So this is the city that I have chosen, very random, really sorry for this. Now I am calling the function hybrid rag and then outputting all three answers, hybrid, rag and graph rag. So here you can see that this is the answer that I got for standard rag. It's a text I will show you. This is the answer that I got for graph rag. As you can see, it is able to extract some major entities. And the final answer is Akabakada is a country located in Lush Valley bordered by Akabaka rivers. So it is mixing the both the answers. Now one important point that I did was I tested out using this particular prompt, point out the information missed by context one, but covered by context two and vice versa. So basically I wish to understand what information was missed by rag, but covered by graph rag. And similarly, what information was covered by graph rag but missed by standard rag. Now here you can see that information missed by context 1 but covered by context 2. So these are the points. Now information missed by context 2 but covered by context 1. These are the points. Now later on I also tried to test out which points were taken by from which context by the hybrid rag. So here you can see that I am using a, a prompt point out which points were taken from context 1 and from context 2 in the final answer. Context 1, context 2, final answer. I am passing as hybrid rag. So here you can see that it is saying me that points from context 1 that is standard rag. These are the points it took in the final answer. Points from context 2, it took these answers. 
so basically even when i was reading the answer in detail you can also experiment with this i i just got a sense that uh, the answer was majorly taken from standard rag and just a few portions are taken from graph rack but i think this is depending upon the use case that you're solving i in it might be the case that in different data sets this might change so i hope you understand how you can implement hybrid rag and you try it out on your personal data sets as well thank you